Hi guys, Irit here with a new process video for HipKit Club and my theme for this week is off the page. So I am doing an art journal spread using my HipKits. And since this is a process video and I think it's um, a great learning experience to watch someone's process, I am going to show you the first failed project that I made. Uh, there was also a second one, which was just something um, that never took any uh, form <laughs> of an actual project. I don't know. I was just playing around with some papers. Maybe you'll see it in the future if I manage to incorporate it into uh, a layout or something. But it was just this video is already kind of on the long side for me. So uh, I didn't include that part. But yeah, it doesn't always work for me. So I'm just starting with some of the uh, goodies from the color kits in the last couple of months. And I think my issue here was that it's something I keep coming back to. I just wasn't in love with those colors that I got there on the background. There is some mint there that I really like. But that blue and a bit of yellow, um, it just, I wasn't in love. So what I'm showing you now is this um, kind of makeshift uh, stencil that I created from the Chamel sticker sheet. And it's actually um, the part of the sticker sheet that is around uh, a couple of the stickers. And what I did was I cut it out carefully and then I... Um, actually, you can either use this a powder tool or just, you know, some baby powder with a brush or just stick that sticker on your pants or shirt or something um, to get rid of the stickiness because you want to be able to move it around. You can leave it a little bit uh, sticky so it doesn't, uh, so it stays put, but you don't want it to rip your paper. And you can see I'm just uh, kind of tracing the inside of these cute little trees. And I really like that idea. Just here it wasn't uh, working, but uh, there is definitely potential here. So that's me not knowing uh, where to go to next. So I'm fussy cutting some um, houses from this cute Dear Lizzie paper. And I'm using a couple of little photos that I printed on my Canon Selfie. Um, the Canon Selfie has, um, I saw at least three different sizes of um, prints that you can use. And there are also some labels. So there's the regular 4x6 size. And then there's the card size. And in the card size, they have uh, regular like photo paper and then two different sizes of uh, labels. And I have here one of the square ones. So I'll leave links to these uh, in the description box in case anyone is interested. Now, another fun thing you can do to really stretch your products is I have this leaf from, um, you see there below my scissors on the right side, it's a Pink Fresh Studio embellishment. It's kind of these really pretty golden, um, mirror shiny type acrylic pieces and I used it as a mask and I just wasn't careful enough to um, it moved around a little bit but you can use you know such things as masks or stencils and uh, you could also glue it to I don't know a piece of uh, foam and use it as a stamp um, just use your imagination to stretch your art supplies and kits a bit. So that's me playing, moving things around. I have these cute photos and um, the square one is a label. So that's really great for art journaling because it has very, very little dimension. And you can see it's actually a new uh, art journal that I have there. My other Dilutions one that I've had for years now is pretty full and I have to say it's horrendous. I think it's one of my first or my first uh, art journal. So it's mostly, I don't know, paint that I had left over or 
backgrounds that I started, it most pages looked like someone vomited a bunch of paints on it. So um, it's really bad. I'm, I'm thinking to do a flip through and show you um, that it's really bad. <laughs> Okay, so this is take three. As I said, um, I kind of ditched that other uh, project. I wasn't too in love with it. And then I did something weird uh, with papers that <laughs> ended up um, just wasting a lot of my time. And okay, so I decided to play it safe and just mix a pretty pink that I like and go from there. So I mixed some white acrylic paint from my stash with a bit of the pink paint that came in February's kit. And now after, and it created this beautiful, lovely um, kind of, I don't know, pink shade. <laughs> I wanted to say sherbet or ice cream or something like that. It's just a really, really pretty uh, shade of pink. And now I'm going to add just a little bit of this um, modeling paste kind of thing that we got. It's called pasties uh, and this came in the March color kit and you can use these through a stencil but I just uh, added them with a palette knife and the paints uh, the acritones from Shimmers, they dry super, super fast. It's really great for art journaling or using them on your scrapbook layouts. And the pastes uh, needs a, need a little bit more time because also they have a bit more dimension. And I think it's just their nature that um, they have like more moisture in it, in them and they need more time. So I added some sprinkles and I let it completely dry. And now I'm starting to add my photo. I actually printed two photos, but I end up only using one. Sorry, this video is so long. I need my coffee cup next to me uh, to keep my throat from giving <laughs> up on me. So I decided to go with this super cute, if I may say so myself, photo <laughs> of <laughs> Lily, my baby girl. And I matted it on a piece of pattern paper from the kit and now starts the game of moving things around and I think I just keep on moving them around. At some point I was like, commit already, commit, you have to commit. <laughs> so I started sticking things down because it was just bleh. Uh, I don't like it when um, it is. It is definitely enjoyable, this part of the process for me, but I was cutting it a little bit uh, tight with my schedule, you know, to post this project. And um, yeah, so I was kind of, and making two failed uh, projects was kind of um, a little bit, um, how do you say, my confidence was a little bit shaken. So I just wanted to see something that I love uh, done. And I really try to make all my design team projects um, such that I, you know, really am in love with them and proud to uh, put them as a project because I hope they will inspire others on my, if I scrapbook uh, not for a project, I am sometimes, um, Sometimes I take more risks because I don't feel the need to have uh, a super awesome project. And yeah, so it was still enjoyable, but it was kind of like I, I did want to make some progress and stick things down and um, yeah, just just uh, see this uh, finished so moving things around, moving things around. I went through my uh, die cuts and kind of picked pieces with mostly black and white and pink. And uh, I do end up adding just a few more pops of color. There's going to be some yellow and um, I think one of the flowers has kind of a hot pink and some green leaves. So I wasn't sure where I wanted to put the photo, but I decided to go with the right side because, um, you know, it's kind of my focal point, even though I'm going to have, I guess, two focal points here, but it's kind of the main one. And that blob of paint um, is larger on the right side. So 
um, I thought it could handle a few more things. And now I'm kind of trying to see what I want to do on the left side because I know I want to do something there. So again, just going through my stuff, a lot of the pieces were really lovely, but I always have the thing with colors and the colors uh, weren't working for me. So I also didn't want to add something like super dimensional, like a flare button or even those rubber uh, shapes that I love or that um, kind of toothpick type of embellishment from Dear Lizzie. Uh, because this journal is actually, it has a lot of pages in it. And if I add a l just a little bit dimension to each one of them, it's going to get really, really um, chubby and... Uh, sometimes that's nice, but I think in this one, it's a little bit, um, there are so many pages in the Dilutions uh, journals, so I didn't want to add too much bulk. And here is my daughter helping me, and my husband treated me to some uh, scrappy time <laughs> in the afternoon. Um, yeah, because I really needed to finish this. So moving things around, moving things around, I had the hardest time deciding where to put those uh, cute little houses and trees that I fussy cut. And eventually they will go, um, well, you'll see. I won't ruin the surprise. <laughs> I also added some stitching to um, that frame from the Paige Evans collection uh, that I used actually as a mat behind my photo. You can't tell it's a frame. Uh, because the inside is uh, covered by the photo. But I added some stitching and um, those little phrase stickers from Pink Fresh Studio that we got in the kit. And uh, I really like that detail. You can see all those things in the close-ups, but it adds so much. So this is me committing after long, long minutes of um, moving things around. And I really wanted to use one of these puffy... Um, words just because I felt that they fit uh, my color scheme and the whole style, you know, the sketchy uh, style that I have going here. I, I felt it was a perfect fit. I didn't want to add uh, thickers or something like that. So I added delightful mostly because I thought it was a little bit more uh, appropriate than happy um, because even though she has, I guess, a little smile there, uh, she's not like really smiling or something, uh, even though she was happy. So I don't really have a good <laughs> explanation. I decided to go with delightful. Why not? <laughs> and adding to the whimsy, I added that cute little bunny uh, behind my flower there. The flower is from the Paige Evans Oh My Heart um, ephemera pack from the main kit. And then that circle right next to it um, that has pink and kind of orangey colors and that little bunny are from the Dear Lizzie ephemera pack that was in the Project Life kit. And the puffy stickers were in one of the kits. I can't remember. It wasn't the main. So I think I'm done with my cluster on the right side. I also added some um, puffy stickers, an arrow and two little yellow hearts. And now I'm working on the other cluster and I had to find the right pieces. I wanted to use what kind of um, drove this process now was repeating elements from the right um, side of my spread. So I cut again a few of these houses. I fussy cut them and then I looked for a die cut that I could place them on and I think I chose one, it looks like a ticket stub, but I'm not sure if it's the Dear Lizzie or Paige Evans one. And I also used that cute little uh, die cut. Uh, I think it says you are so sweet and it's kind of, um, I don't know, reminds me of a sun, I guess, because it's round. <laughs> so I stuck it behind the houses. And now I decided I needed to add some of the pattern papers that I have as layers behind my photo. So I cut a circle. I really wanted um, a circle, circular element and I thought it looked really great behind those houses. So I just uh, cut one of the pattern papers I used before. I cut it into a circle and then I cut just a little part of a circle from that Project Life card that I also used as a layer behind my photo 
and just added that as um, you know that repeating element and now I'm also going to add this cute little banner that says hey sugar and I actually cut this banner it was um, part of a die cut from the page Evans ephemera pack and it has a heart and then that banner on the heart so I just cut the parts of the heart out because they weren't working for my um, design but I wanted that pop of pink and I wanted that banner so you can totally you know just customize your stuff and make it work for you and now I'm gluing it behind uh, now I'm gluing it on top of my circle and the last thing I'm going to add is another one of these phrase stickers just like I did on the right side of my photo so I want to add that and add some stitching repeat all those elements from the other side of the page and then I can add some puffy stickers where to put that bird on the side no on the top yes it's gonna stay at the top <laughs> so I ran it through my sewing machine sorry that was a little bit fast but that's all I wanted to show you there and um, that's kind of it I'm just adding just a little bit a few little doodles around uh, I thought about as adding some of this cute washi but it was just giving me a hard time so I skipped it and yeah that's me thinking if I should add something else I end up adding I think a couple more of the puffy stickers because they're so cute and I wanted um, another pop of yellow there and an arrow because I have an arrow on the other side I couldn't really make those um, little branches work there but I did add a little fox so this is it my finished project I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you feel inspired to use your kits also uh, on other projects that are not necessarily scrapbook layouts and yeah I added my journaling around my uh, clusters there I wish you a lovely day thanks for watching bye